All right, day three here at Commercial UAV Expo. Hopefully we're gonna have a good last day, catch up with some of our students, see some of the exhibitors, and wrap up the day before heading home. All right, so we're gonna be talking to one of my favorite companies, and they've actually got a special event happening next week. Hey, Sam, how you doing, man? Good, Rami, nice to see you. What we're doing here at uh, Commercial UAV is showing off two devices, our RS3 device that serves as a base rover combo, and our Reach RX, which is an over-end trip network rover. So, I'm super excited about uh, what we're doing next week in Budapest. It'll be great to see you there. Yeah, I can't wait to go. <laughs> yeah. There we'll be meeting with our partners from around the globe, talk about some exciting developments, and really just break bread and have uh, an enjoyable time with a lot of learning and a lot of sharing amongst people from all over the world. And you guys have supported us at the survey school so much. You, for those that don't know, our students at the survey school actually get a free GNSS receiver from Imlet, so your support has been immaculate in training the next generation of surveyors. Well, we're so appreciative of what you guys are doing at the survey school, um, and we're, we're very proud and happy to be a part of that, so it's, it's very symbiotic and beautiful. I look forward to seeing you in Budapest yes. next week, and I'll definitely be sharing with you guys some of the insides of their user conference. I think it's going to be a great time. Yep, thank you. Yeah. Sweet, I'm Matt Skelton. I work for Sentara, recently acquired by John Deere. I am a product marketing manager there, um, background in aerospace engineering, and so for the last, I don't know, six-ish months, we've been working on putting together this RTK PPK solution for our Sentara sensors here with Inspired Flight, all co-developed. So the real goal here was how do we give the 5800 or Inspired Flight users a, the ability to have survey grade RTK, and what we really wanted to do was make sure that we were getting the PPS synchronization down to the camera um, right from the GPS. So that's what we see here. The high megapixel global shutter. This will capture at 3 FPS, so you can really just cruise and fly real fast. So you pair this with survey grade RTK PPK, and you get this really awesome photogrammetry product. So let's talk a little bit about the module up here. Really cleverly put in end trip on their hand controllers. This will work on GS1 or here link. Um, and what's really cool about this is they did a really great job of you know, when you're running N-Trip, they're, you know, sometimes you're moving locations, you're changing mount points, you can make all these really awesome presets, flip between them inside of here, uh, makes for a really easy workflow. So that sends the corrections right up to the drone, into the camera, and we compute the solution up here on the module. Nice little ground radio, it's got a quarter 20 mount and a magnet in there, also has a P900, but if you've got a base station with the USB out, you can plug this thing in and start piping up corrections that way. Um, really convenient, or maybe you want to run N-Trip from a laptop or, or what have you. We just wanted to make sure that Anybody who wanted one of these was going to have the ability to be able to get their corrections in one way or another. This has been in the works. I'm really excited about this product. It really brings capabilities to both the sensors and the aircraft that we're hoping people want. Even though there's so many drones, they look like they do the same thing, but they don't. If for my case, in my industry, which is focused on mapping, I want to look at the you know, payloads that it's RGB and LiDAR space. That's, that's the most common ones. So if you're in the industry of construction, mapping, maintenance, inspections, coming to the expo kind of broadens your knowledge of what's out there. And more importantly, you get to talk to those people, you get first-hand information on if that product works for you, it's gonna provide your, you or your clients the best solution possible. So these guys will help you identify what you need and what sort of a hardware or software you need to provide your clients for the best solution possible. You come to an expo, I work for a company, that I assist in providing better solutions, so I have to continually need to learn the market and how it's progressing, so I can uh, relay that to my superiors. They can use that to make better in decisions, better investments. It is a really good experience. I appreciate uh, the service goal for allowing me uh, and my wife too, because she came with me, and see all this new cool new technology that is helping the industry, the industry that we're working in. So, thank you so much, appreciate it very much. Hello everybody, yeah, my name is Kobe. 2025 is the first year we can go to the global marketing. We released our new product, the V4. A V4 product has a three new features. It has a parachute. If one the accident happens, uh, we can use a parachute to protect the human being and the property. And secondly, 
we can use our power bank to have her automatically charging. If you want to keep your promise to the customer, we can do the three or four times per night. The last one, the John take off from the case and land into the case automatically. No need to touch, no need to buy them manually. It will save a lot of labor cost and time. If you see it, you will like it. If you use it, you will love it. Kristen, good to see you, man. Hey, Rami, nice to meet you, man. Tell us a little bit more about CHC Nav. So, CHC Nav is a technology-driven company focused on providing hundreds of precise navigation, mapping, and positioning solutions worldwide. Uh, this right here is our X500. It's a multi-payload UAV platform, and uh, it has three main advantages compared to the typical drone in your market. Those being our safety and stability, our payload, and our flight time. When it comes to the X500, we have dual redundant GNSS and flight control systems, a triple redundant IMU. So what that means is if one of your systems fails, we have two GNSS antennas. If one goes out, you're still able to use your GNSS functionality. We also have a triple rotor landing feature. So let's say one of your props fails mid-mission, you're still able to control and land your drone safely, saving you time and money in case you were to have a total failure. We are IP55 rated. We are able to withstand temperatures from negative four to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and we also have multiple safe return strategies and terrain following features. We also have solutions such as our RTK receivers, UAV platforms, data processing software to deliver the data you want. Oh, excuse oh. me there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right, so that's a wrap. Commercial UAV Expo has been incredible. It was amazing to see all of the students from the survey school spending time with different vendors here on the exhibit floor and actually participating in the round table and really dissecting the core fundamental principles of drone surveying. If you guys are interested in learning more about the survey school, then be sure to check out thesurveyschool.com where you can get access to our premium community, courses focused on surveying and mapping, as well as many resources including free hardware, software, and fully funded conferences. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.